Hey guys, Eric Wimmer here with Wasatch Heat Cable and uh, we got Jose, he's our troubleshoot guy. He's our expert on finding all this kind of crazy stuff out in the field. Well today we got a, a homeowner that's got an experience. Uh, his heat cable's not kicking on or doing something weird so he calls us up, wants us to come out and check it out, see what's going on. We're gonna go and investigate this and find out what the deal is and hopefully get his heat cable system up and running. So we run into these kind of things all the time with various systems installed by who knows uh, out there, but uh, our, our objective is to get these things up and running, help the homeowners out and make sure their system's operating the way it should. So we'll check this out, see how it goes. All right guys, so we met with the homeowner, we're gonna talk about this. The heat cable on his house is tripping the breaker, but turns out there's a very interesting scenario we've come across on this. The heat tape only trips when an additional circuit, a light switch, is turned on. And we're finding out, we assume, the neutrals might be shared. So what, what that means is on a GFCI or a GFEP, the imbalance on the load for the circuit one, when the second one turns on, it, it pulls some power from the neutral, sending a signal to the breaker that something's not right in turn tripping it. So we're gonna take a look, confirm if that's the correct thing that we're dealing with and find a way to, to, to solve the problem. So this will be interesting. Come with us and check it out. Okay, so we're, we're inside the home now and above us, uh, you can probably see a little bit of sheetrock damage here, but further up on the outside is where the heat tape system is. And when it's not operating, the ice builds up, leaks down on the deck, comes in the walls, into the ceiling, and these are some of the things you that this guy's experiencing. Now, not everybody experiences the same thing. I've had some homeowners that have come home from their vacation after Christmas, and their whole ceiling was actually on the kitchen table. So, damage can be uh, in a large amount or small amount. This particular situation caught ahead of time, and uh, we're going to see what's causing this. But. Give me two seconds to think about this. So, I wonder if it's possible that what they have done in the process of the remodel is the neutral that is to be properly hooked up for this breaker has been eliminated off of the circuit and then they're using a different neutral from this circuit. No, that wouldn't make sense because it would never operate in the beginning anyway. Mm -hmm. I think what's going on is that there's separate, they're separated somewhere. They, sh they should always be separate circuits and then mm -hmm. when you have uh, multiple junction boxes like the ones that we have up there, mm -hmm. um, you you keep them separate, and when you have single pole switches, you know you just do the hots into the switch, and the neutrals are t connected pass together, mm -hmm. pass through. Um, at one of these two junction boxes where the switch isn't working anymore, I'm thinking they didn't trace out the separate neutrals. Uh, we just need to find a J box with uh, a bunch of neutrals, separate them out. That. We got okay. This is another black. It's just painted white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's there.
Okay, so diving into this, understanding why the heat cable breaker is tripping when we turn on the light. We discovered through this switch here, along with another one referenced over on the other wall here, they are, uh, keep in mind, this home has done a remodel. It's been some remodel happening, and there is a neutral line that is tied in over on the other breaker or the other switch box. In that junction box is our heat cable circuit. So for this light switch here that turns on the chandelier over the table, it requires a neutral tie-in back to the panel and that's what it's doing in the other box. The neutral for this is pulling from the neutral on the heat cable line. Without tearing open all the walls, we can't really run a new, but new line to give this a dedicated neutral back to the panel. So what we're looking at doing is taking the breaker out of the panel, that's a GFEP breaker, and we're exchanging the plug that ties the heat tape into the wall with a GFEP pigtail plug. We'll show you what that is, and we'll do a video on how that's done. But that should fix our problem, putting the neutral outside where it's not gonna be tied in so much with this system here, and should give the heat tape an operation a way to operate without tripping the line when the lights turn on. So let's give that a shot. We'll go through the process. Okay, now that we got a solution for this problem, this is our area we're working on. We have a junction box here that give, feeds our power to our heat cable, and we need to insert our GFEP in line right here. We're gonna mount this up here so it's nice and clean. We're just gonna tie it right in and this will protect our heat cable, but take away the neutral sharing effect and prevent this thing from tripping. So let's give this a shot and show you what we're gonna do. First thing we wanna do is check our line. We do have the breaker off, but it's always good to double check and we should be good. Done. So we eliminated the straight shot of cable coming down. We added our GFEP in here. We got our reset test button and this light will be on when the cable is active and everything is in good standing. If it is tripped, the light on there will be off. Okay. Okay, we went ahead and took the panel cover off of this so far and we're gonna take this breaker out and replace it with a standard slim breaker and we have put the GFEP trip out in line on the heat cable. So one of the first things you wanna do when changing a breaker in the panel is identify your hot and neutral lines that are feeding the circuit, okay? Uh, this particular situation, as you will see here as I dive into it, the neutral, our neutral bar is down here our neutral line is short, so we're gonna have to extend that and bring it down to tie it in. But now what we wanna do is pull these breaker, the, the lines off the breaker. There we go. So here's our hot and our neutral. We have our neutral on the pigtail. We're gonna pull that out as well. 
Okay, so there's that. I like to have my fingers in there so I can guide that neutral up so it's not touching anything it shouldn't. And there we go, okay. So now we've removed the GFEP breaker. Okay, so now I like actually taking the breaker out of the panel and mounting my hot line to this, this way. And then I'll snap this back in on the, on the bus bar. Now, keep in mind, when wiring up a breaker, you are never supposed to double tap a breaker with two wires. You never do that, okay? I should, I should get a bigger, fatter flathead on this. That'll make it a little bit easier. There we go, nice and snug. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and that's ready to go in. Okay, I'm gonna keep it off because our neutral is not hooked up yet. So we need to extend the neutral, put a wire nut on this and bring the wire down over and tie it into our neutral bar and that'll hook everything up. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and extend this uh, neutral Put the garbage in my pocket. Okay, so we're gonna take the current neutral line that we need to extend, and we're just gonna add this to it. So I'm gonna get that in there. It's not the prettiest thing to add wire nuts in a panel, but. No, but you know, when a home's built for like a million years ago, sometimes you don't have any other options. Oops, I dropped the pliers. Okay. I just try and keep it clean so it's tucked up in right here. Then we're gonna bring this line down. We wanna, I like making sure things are clean, so take a nice sharp drive sideways. We're gonna bring this up and we're gonna send it right into there. I know. Try Panels. Count, try to count the number of wire nuts in Yeah. Panels this old are never clean and organized. Uh, well, I've even seen brand new panels that are not clean and organized that some electrician put together. Not all electricians are created equal. There are some I prefer and some I would not prefer. So it is what it is. <clears throat> Come on. There we go, there we go. That's what we want. Put that screw right on top of the wire. Tighten that down. Also, also, beautiful, looks good. That's as clean as it's gonna get, so. Okay. Okay, you can see a red light on that. When that red light is on, this thing is active and running. You can also test it. That trips it, reset. Bingo, you're up and running. So if the light is not lit up, then it's probably tripped and you need to reset it. So there's a couple instructions on a GFEP pigtail. Let's do a quick test on the light. <clears throat> I already passed the test. Yeah, light works now. 